Hey guys, welcome back. So, what we have done so far is that we have launched the Django server, but we did not create any apps yet. In fact, let me create just a folder. And uh, I will open it with my bash tool. And let's just review what we have done last time. So to create a project, we will type Django-admin start project followed by the name of the project uh, let's call our project world tour we're going to create a world tour project okay perfect so um, let's actually check out we have world tour so let's enter world tour now let's create a basic app in your Django project what we will need to do is simply we will type Python manage.py start app followed by the name of the application so just to make one thing clear here world tour is the name of the project the whole project and inside the whole project of world tour we can have different applications we can have let's say an app for euro tours uh, or europe tours Asia tours, uh, Africa tours, and so on. So for this particular application, I will just call it Europe. And as you can see inside world tour folder or uh, project, we have a second folder called world tour, manage.py, which we have uh, seen the last video, and folder called Europe, which is the main application. Okay, so let me close this for a moment and I will open folder using visual studio code so as we saw world tour inside it there is world tour and we have seen the last time uh, what is in it.py asgi settings urls and whiskey okay we have manage.py we said that it's a very bad idea to modify anything in this file and we have europe which is the main application so what I want to do now is I want to check out uh, this file called views.py. So here you can write a code that ultimately decides what the user sees when he goes to a particular route. And if you recall from the first video when we have discussed the Django architecture and we said that it's based on something called MVT structure or model view template, views file represent the view element in the MVT structure. And let me show you what we can do. So the first thing we need to do is we need to import HTTP response from django.http import HTTP response. And we will define a function called index, which will take a request and we want to return HTTP response and we will say Europe trips. Okay, good, but this is not enough. So inside our Europe application, we will create another file called urls.py. And this is not the same file as urls.py inside the world tour folder here, okay? But um, this urls is very specific to this Europe application. So inside here, we want to import a couple of things. Uh, the first thing we need to import is path. So say from django.urls, I want to import path and from dot import views. And dot means simply the current directory or the current folder. I want to import views, which is this file right here. And what I want to do next is I want to declare a variable called URL patterns. And this will be equal to a list. And inside that list, I want to get the path to an empty string, which means an empty route or a default route so when the user will enter and enter out, um, I want Django to go to views.py and I want to invoke the index function. Okay, so on the web page uh, in the URL, when you will enter just the default route or forward slash, I want uh, Django to open views and invoke that function right here. Okay. So URLs and views are associated together. So we have finally created an app, but to render the app using URLs, we need to include the app in our main project so that the URLs directed to that app can be rendered. So let's explore that. 
So we will need to go to our world tour. So let's uh, close the application and open world tour. And we will go to the other URL S file. And inside here, I want to add a second line. And this basically will say path, an empty string, okay? And I want to include, and then the project app, right? So the project app is called Europe. So Europe.urls. And we need to add include here. Okay, perfect. So let's try that out. Let's actually save that. And let's open the folder using bash tool. Uh, again, we will enter world tour folder. And just to check out, okay. So what we will say is python manage.py and let's run the server. Okay, so the server is running on uh, the local host on port 8000. And let's open the browser. So 127.001.8000 and voila, we get Europe trips. Okay, so this was a bit technical. Uh, you will need to uh, do a little bit of configuration before you can render anything on the browser. And this is it. So congratulations, you have created your first web application using Django. In the next video, we are going to talk a little bit more about databases and migrations and how we can work on that and how we can add trips to our database and display them in the shell then on the web browser. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.